Now we're going to learn how to input notes with a mouse. We're going to put in the chord in the very first bar of the symphony, and then we're going to put it in in every single part. So, in Sibelius, you'll see down the bottom right-hand corner, we've got something called the keypad. We're going to learn a lot more about that as we go. To start off with, we'll learn the slowest method of note entry, which is mouse entry. So, click on the note value that you need, in this case, quarter note. Move your mouse pointer over the instrument you want to put notes into, and then you'll see that you get a grey ghost note, which, is sh which will show you exactly where the note might go as you move the mouse. You'll also know as you move it from left to right that it also shows you quarter note positions within the bar. Very useful if you want to put in a note not on the first beat of the bar. And if you make a mistake, you can always go Control z or Command z Once you know what notes you want to put in, simply click where you need them to go. For now, no need to put in articulations. You can actually put those in later, things like staccatos. Click a note in. You can actually click another note in to make a chord if you need. Now, if you move down to other parts and put notes in, then return to a previous measure to add another note, you'll notice that you overwrite notes. So you can only actually add chords whilst a note is still highlighted in blue. And we'll explain more about that later. Now, should you make a mistake, we need to learn two very important things. Let's put a note in. And let's imagine now that you were aiming for another note and you got it wrong and you started to click to try and fix it. And in fact, you'll make things a lot worse. So how do we fix it? So whenever you can see the blue mouse button, the blue cursor, it means that Sibelius is ready to start adding notes. So you can't drag notes around whilst the cursor is blue. So to stop the cursor being blue, hit the escape key on your computer. Always a safe thing to hit the escape before you add any notes and it clears any settings. So if you do hit escape, you'll see the cursor is no longer blue. And you can now select notes and delete them or drag them around. So use the delete key to delete notes. And you can actually start again at that point. When you delete a note, it'll actually turn it into a rest. So let's go back to the keypad and start over. Always a good way if you get confused, hit escape and start over. And now you can start clicking notes in once again and the cursor goes blue. Another thing you might want to be able to do is change the pitch of a note that you've just clicked in because it's faster than hitting escape and dragging things around. So once a note is on the score in blue, you can actually use the up or down arrow keys on your computer to move the notes up and down the scale of the key that you're currently in. That's a good thing to learn if you click slightly wrongly.